which could well determine the outcome of the series. Scotland against Australia, again it's United States against Canada, and the uh, final cup quarter-final between New Zealand and England, and that promises to be quite a clash with New Zealand, the reigning champions, still in the hunt, of course, uh, to uh, hold on to their championship and title. Match 29, a contest of great import. It's Fiji against South Africa. There you can see the head-to-heads. You can put them to one side. The next 14 minutes is decisive. Well, we're all set for the gunfight at the Twickenham Corral, the Wild West of London. The appointed hour, 10.28 local time. The prize, the overall series title. There you can see, we saw the squad that Ben Ryan has selected. Here are the South African starters, including the speedster Ciabello Sinatla, Kyle Brown, the captain, Frankie Horn, Mr. Experience. So the sums are straightforward for Fiji. Fiji win here, they take the overall title. If South Africa had put a spoke in that particular wheel, then South Africa would have the opportunity to go on and take the title, but they would have to beat either Scotland or Australia in the semi-final. Richard Kelly from New Zealand takes charge. The first catch, a good one there from Rasilla Silla. Rabuvu. South Africa in with a the hit. There goes Branco de Pria, Commonwealth gold medalist, fed back by the captain. That was Chris Dry. There goes Dipena. Every tackle matters. Werner Koch, the top tackler in the competition, playing for South Africa here. There goes the Priya. Well, you can already sense, even though there's a fair few green seats remaining empty here at Twickenham, but this match has that bit of something extra to it. The ball spill forward by South Africa. Well, there's another advantage to Fiji. We'll come back for the scrum. Well, both teams, you can feel, Martin, have just got their edge to them they know one versus two on the table everything matters well this is the only game that matters just watching the two teams warming up Fiji using a lot of skill based exercises where South Africa are very physical in their approach and that's the way you got to beat Fiji you got to make the tackle you got to upset them physically to have any chance well the Fijians claim their fourth title of the series last week in Glasgow they are the form team set for the first time this season up in Scotland the Blitzbocker failed to make it through to the semi-finals. But of course, the slate is wiped clean for this contest here. Well, I think the South African team matched the BGMs in the backs. It's just whether their forwards can give them a platform to launch from. Selecela there being harried by Dupria. Swept wide that time by Kalina Sir. There's the big fella, Pio Tuai. It's turned over by South Africa. Here's the prayer again. He had Frankie Horn on his inside. Then a cock in there at the contest. It's won by Fiji, but illegally so, coming in from the side. Oh, Frankie Horn is a beast already. Him and Pio Tuai have had a couple of big contacts in this game. Big man on big man. Here it is, Pio Tuai comes. Look at Frankie Horn, cut him up. Oh, that's just one of them matchups in this game they're right across the park but that's the one I'm looking forward to well the Priya with his left foot kicks to the corner well, I'm not sure the uh, assistant referee has been that generous there marking that Good about jet, 10 meters out from the Fiji try line open up well, so much can happen in 14 minutes but believe me, at this level, with this prize at stake, every error is magnified. Gathered there by Chris Dry. 
Frankie Horn under pressure. Good pick up there from Dupree. Look at the contest at the break there. Now there's a chance. Dipinar comes back to Dupree. South Africa playing with patience. Dupree just bouncing off the tacklers. Well, it's been lost forward by South Africa. Run and drive up. Now a chance to break clear. Once again, though, it's picked up by South Africa. The advantage is over. Release. There goes Sinatla. Dupree. Good step. Who is going to land the first blow? All the play in the bottom third of the field. Fiji under pressure. The defence, though, holding up well so far. There it is again for South Africa. Here goes Werner Koch. He changes direction. Look at that. Massive hit, but then a loose pass. We can see what South Africa are trying to do. Keep it close, but here go Fiji. They want to play fast. Oh, magnificent stepping. That was from the Sela Sela. And Fiji, the first time they've been in the South Africa half, they make it count. Sabanatha Rawata gets the opening score. And it came from a South African mistake, this try, but they're just so quick to pounce on it. This kid has been brilliant. This has been introduced yesterday, Nasila Sela. He is such a confident player for a young man. The nice little offload, and they always have support players running. And the Wata, look at the power of the arms in the man. You're never going to stop him with greenery in front of him. What an opening stanza for Fiji. Rawatha, who was the top try scorer in Hong Kong, he got two in the final there. And this is a match, albeit early on the Sunday morning, which carries final status and more. Let's go, please. Ravuvu, he's on the clock and he's pushed it wide. What I love about Rawatha, he plays with a chip on his shoulder. He has a bit of attitude, he's pointing at Sonatla right now. You can see even just by the way he runs. He runs strong. These are a joy to watch around the full flight. Well, he may play with a chip on his shoulder, but it's not too much of a burden to him, is it? As you say. Oh, then a cock. That was all about flat out commitment. It's good to see Werner Koch. He's back on his feet. Well, these two players are vying for the best players on the circuit in 2015. They have been superstars. Werner Koch, top defender. And Kunatani, one of the best attackers. That's a contest, both going for the ball. But the commitment shown by both guys. Oh, they only had eyes for that pill. You wouldn't expect anything less from those two guys. Well, there's Werner Koch. Played his junior rugby for the Fumers and then moved down to Cape Town to play for Western Province. And here's a chance for South Africa. Sinatla's got the ball in hand, a little chip ahead. There's nobody after it though. That goes Ravuvu. And here is Nasilla Silla. That's outstanding from Nasilla Silla. They're cutting the South Africa defence to ribbons. Kalinis gets the score. And he goes round behind the post. This is a thoroughly professional performance from the Fijians. And a try from counter-attack. Nasilla Silla again, the catalyst on the return. Fiji have just unveiled another star on the circuit. Here he is here. Nothing doing, but he miss, He realises the mismatch in Frankie Horn. You don't want Frankie in the middle of the park against a fleet-footed guy like this. So smooth across the ground. And then the captain who's led all year long from the front. Again, putting the hard yards in. And gets a second score for Fiji. And Silla Silla makes it worth seven. And Fiji will feel that they've got one hand on the overall series title. They're leading South Africa by 12 points to 10. Well, they're going to be key huddles here. Ben Ryan, unquestionably, will perhaps have less to say, but let's listen to Ben Ryan, his biggest talk of the season so far. Okay, get your breath, get your water back. It's just a couple of simple things. 
Defensively, we are spot on because we're going forward, you're making the tackles, and we're telling her, and your work rate is outstanding. But, 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 don't do all the good work now and let it fall apart. This is a nil-nil game. You got that? A nil-nil game. And you're seven minutes away from creating something pretty special. Now, two things to me. Semi, they're coming in on you hard. Pre-contact pass will be on, OK? They'll all come in, and we can move it a little bit wider. Savvy, you take your man on, you keep working hard. Forwards, empty the tank. Off the scrums, get out fast, OK? And if we get another penalty front of the posts, it's three scores, kick it, 15 nil. Unless it's... Unless you know, well, there's it's the opposite number, Neil Powell, who was in the blitz pocket side when they last won the World Series six years ago. All right. I've been thinking for now, boys. I've been thinking for the game. I was not even by me. They said, "Play fight for the game for seven minutes." It was doing good at track. Kick off can be long and quick. Press play can be long and quick, boys. They play work. I believe you must go relax. Now, as you bring rockers, come track up to the black and spill. For what the ball, boys? We need star and track come in. All right. Seven minutes of your life now, boys. Seven minutes of your life now. Play work for car and play dunk on the field. Come on, come on. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. That's what he's telling his team. They have to turn it around, but they're two tries down. Well, for me, they've got to find a way to get Werner Koch into the game. He's doing a lot of defending. He's doing a lot of chasing in the middle of the park, giving the ball and even run at this VTN team. We haven't been tested out wide, I don't think, as yet. And when they do that, that's when the likes of Branko de Prea and Sio Balas and Atla could get into space for Fiji. Well, it's more of the same, but they said nil all game. And it's interesting to note, Ben Ryan spoke about Kunatani, they're targeting him, so the pass is on out the back door to create space. Well, the South Africa performance in Glasgow last week where they were hampered by injuries. They let slip the title there. They now have seven minutes to try and regain it. Slap back there by 2 Y. We're coming back for the free kick. This is one of those law variations in sevens. Ball doesn't go 10. Free kick on halfway. Well, they don't have to rush here either, Martin. Do South Africa. They just have to be accurate, be poised, and execute. But they have to get the next score. Most definitely. There's the prayer. Oh dear. Well, that was an unforced error. They cannot afford any of those. And on the evidence of the first half here, they'll make them hurt. But then the loose pass, and here's a chance for South Africa. They've been gifted the opportunity. Can they get the final? Here they go. Here's Frankie Horn. In there is the captain, Carl Brown. Chris Dry. And Chris Dry. Brings the Blitzbocker right back into this match. Oh, it's game on now in this quarter-final. They're just too good to be shaken off. They're not going to go away easy, are South Africa? Here's the mistake. Kalini Sal gets amongst the passing line. And then Kyle Brown, who's been outstanding all year long, reads the play. Nice offload, but it's the big men for South Africa to get them going forward. This is where they set it up, and they get it out to Chris Dry, who's a big man. On the left-hand side of the field, he hits a nice line too. From the inside out, Brink of the Prayer crosses across, goes across the field. Nice line, and they're back. And in the context of the contest, that's a massive <laughs> conversion. Put over by Brink of the Prayer. The deficit is now just five points. A converted try will take them ahead. We've got five minutes remaining. Five minutes either way to settle the overall title. Fiji lose this, they'll be powerless. South Africa will need to go on and win their semi-final. Victory for Fiji here would shut it out. The Fijians have gathered it from the restart. That was Ravuvu. Out there to Tuwa. Fijians playing with patience. Possession in that first half was dominated by South Africa, but it was Fiji who made it happen, and they're doing it again. There's some space here, out wide, and look at the pace out of Rawata. That is brilliant sevens play. They have regained control of this quarterfinal. No replacement. For speed in the game of sevens. Seven, Nathar, Ruwatha.
gets his double in this game. 10. The two points is added. Well, Ben Ryan told them at half time, they're seven mi minutes away from something very special. Look at the little kick and the surge. The power Fine and out. pace out of Seven Atharoatha. Seven Green. Well, it might be only a little basic thing, but the awareness of Kalini Sal just to oh, move the ball quickly, not eat up the space and give it to this guy early yeah. and just let Tom him run. Go. Yeah, Tom Hawks. Palm back there, South Africa have it. Presented there by Speck. It's a good step. Ball being left behind though. St. Atla has it. Here's Werner Koch. Justin Fadould among the replacements. There's the cross kick, but it's misdirected. It's gifted possession to Fiji. Time running out for South Back Africa. Well, Double it's gone on. forward. Werner Kock on Verna from Kock. Fiji. Sorry, Martin. Werner Kock can't kick that ball away. You need to hold position. They're very lucky to get away with this one, South Africa. You're two scores behind. There's only two and a half minutes left. It's all about the ball. They got stung once in the first half, kicking the ball away. And yeah. Fiji scoring a nice try. They've got to keep the pill. And now South Africa know they cannot afford to commit a single error. They have time, but they need to make it count. They need to retain possession, get the next score. And then if they get that far, regain possession from the restart. Two and a half minutes. It's plenty enough time. There's Justin Fadol returning to the South Africa squad this weekend. He missed Glasgow because of injury. Fine. Set. Speckman. There's Clock again. Picked up by Parker Smith. Smith. A loose forward in the 15s game. Offside, they have the penalty. Coming offside, there was Kalinasau. Parker Smith feeding the ball on to Hadold. Penalty against South Africa. Holding on. That could well be it. Fiji in control of the ball now. Right. No, they just have to retain possession. Rasungi coming in as the second man. I wouldn't mind seeing the replay to see where he come from. I thought he was from the side, not from the highmost. A big turnover in the context of this game. So in the Silla Silla. Finding, but here you get a look at that now. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that, sorry. Winner. Referee Richard Kelly right on the mark. Five. That is Number beautiful seven. stuff. Aggressive though, aren't they? The tackle the ball, the Fijian team, and that's where they really won this game. Come in. Come on. So, one final set piece goes to hand. Look at the way South Africa are competing for it. But the clock is against them. Touched. All There's on. the kick. South Africa must score in the next 20 seconds. Well, it's knocked on. But Fiji will be unconcerned. The clock continues to run down. Ben Ryan is almost there. Well, this is it now. They need to get it to the number 11 and let him score off. Asil Balasanala just waiting. There's only seconds really? left. This is for all the marbles. So South Africa, they can't muck around here. Fine. Set. The Speckman looking for the offload. South Africa looking here. It'll be one final act of defiance. It's not going to prevent Fiji taking the overall title. It will be the final play. Fiji are there.
they've stolen it, the ball's gone forward. And Richard Kelly blows his whistle for the end of the match. Fiji are world champions again. Uncatchable now are the flying Fijians. The 2014-15 HSBC World 7 Series champions for the second time in their history. Ben Ryan will be ecstatic, but he'll want to go on and try and reset after this. They'll want to win the London 7s and finish on a high. But at the moment, emotions will be running because they know all their hard work over the last 12 months have paid off right now. So nine years after winning their first title, Fiji have done it again. And the ship has been steered by that man, Ben Ryan. Oscar, you've won the World Series title. Fiji haven't done that for 10 years since the great wife Sally Serevi led his team to it. How do you, how do you feel now? Uh, first of all, I'm just thankful to the Lord for giving us the victory today. We know that South Africa is a very tough team. But throughout when we started out the season, we told ourselves that our faith in God, our faith in each other, and our faith in our rules of the team have to be strong, and we have to have uh, the love. We're really thankful that uh, we finished the series. It's been a tough journey all along, but uh, all thanks to God that we made it this far. You've got great support here today, but I know there's a lot of your people back home in Fiji watching this now. Do you have a message for them? Uh, thank you very much for supporting the team. If uh, one we should praise and one we should thank is let's just praise and thank the Lord for giving us the victory. Your World Series champions, can you go on and win the London Sevens title as well now? Uh, that's the plan for this weekend. We've done that now and now the focus is trying to win the London and trying to go back to back. Congratulations, Oscar. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my congratulations to...